During the beginning of 2009, I submitted a proposal to Wally Hersom and the BFRO for the use of reconnaissance cameras for the purpose of resource management and law enforcement. If it wasn't for the graciousness of Wally, none of this would have been possible. Welcome to part two, the summer portion of our four-part series of the Q-Spin Reconnex Camera Project, which is basically an ongoing surveillance project set up on a unique natural feature. We didn't bait or entice the wildlife to this location. We just took advantage of what nature had to offer. What makes this a good location for the project is the fact that the park unit consists of 53,000 acres of California's north coast forests and prairies. This includes 18,000 acres of old growth coastal redwoods and Douglas fir forests, surrounded mostly by adjacent private timberlands. Humboldt Redwoods is the largest remaining contiguous old growth coastal redwood forests in the world. This goosebend tree fit our criteria. Within the wilderness designation, adjacent to the well-used game trail, near a source of water, off of the beaten Scrolling human path, here. and if we could find it, a unique feature flat spot, that would sir. set it aside from others. Uh, nothing too dramatic. It sort of retracts a lot of stuff that's been, pretty much been. Beat. But look at some of the duff. It looks like it's been stepped on and flattened. Some of it doesn't. So, some of this time of year we have a lot of redwood duff falling out of the trees. And inside, goose pen, got here. Closer look. See right now we have accumulation of leaves. Uh, it's not too bad inside. You're looking at about um, be about four and a half feet in width to five. I mean, it, it widest and should I say length from left to right and across the middle. We're looking more like about three feet at most. Big enough for bear to wallow in there in that cool water. But right now it looks pretty dry. Pretty dry. Make a note of that for our records. And this is a burnout tree. Keeps going up. You see where it separates? It goes up to the top. Down over here on this side, coming back towards our camera. There it is. Just a left corner. The rest of the program will be what was captured on the reconnex camera. If you look carefully at the upper border of the picture, you can confirm the date, time, air temperature, and the phases of the moon. Here we threw in a 5 foot 8 person for scale. Bears don't sweat like you and I do to cool their body core. That's why they take advantage of their favorite wildling locations like ponds, streams, and mud holes like this one. The bears shake it off the excessive water and mud. We just lucked out. The delay of the camera only caught the tail end of a passing mountain lion at 7.51 in the morning. You could see the changing color patterns in this maturing bear. The average wallowing time for the summer session in the goose pen water hole was a little more than two minutes. A lot of people don't realize how lucky we were to find this unique feature. A hollow out tree that retains water along a game trail. It seems that the bears are the ones that have taken the most interest. Watch that bear closely, they all do it. They come in, they sniff, see who's been there, they check the roster, leave scent to their own, and they head back out. It's 
11.51 in the evening, you have a deer cautiously working its way past the camera, following the game trail. 8.24 p.m., a stealthy gray fox. 7.25 p.m. A trio of deer. You can see how their eyes reflect the infrared of the camera. 7.25 p.m. At just about 9 o'clock p.m. Our fox comes back. During this portion of the study, we had six animal species walk by the camera. We had bobcat, bear, mountain lion, deer, fox, and skunk. Here's a striped skunk at 10.28 in the evening. Our bear friend at 106 in the morning. And three days later, another bear at 1230 in the morning. It's 72 degrees. During this study period, we had 11 deer visitation days. Most popular time, 4 to 9 a.m. and 7 to 7.30 p.m. During our three-month summer period, we had about 12 bear visitation days, about one every seven to eight days. The most popular in the morning was from 8.55 to 9.42 a.m., and the evening was 5.29 to 6.47 p.m. This is the end of part two, summer session, of our four-part series. So far, at five months into the study, it's been a lot of fun. Looking forward to seeing what else we get from strolling by the camera and take a look.